Welcome to EduRev. Yes, we are moving to another topic, which is IVC sites and their significance. So why should we learn it? Because there have been questions with regard to some of the important IVC sites. So let us quickly go through them. The first site is Mohanjadaro in Pakistan. So one of the better preserved sites and we have very famous uh, sites like uh, Great Path, Great Granary. And we also have the sculpture of bearded priest, sculpture of the dancing girl discovered from Mohanjadaro. Harappa, yes, mother goddess figure, that's one thing. Stone symbol of Lingam. Now, remember this mother goddess figure has also been found in many other places also. And sculpture of dog chasing a deer in bronze metal. And this male torso statue. Remember in the last class we talked about the sandstone statue. And these are some of the important sites. And remember, when you try to remember the site, try to also remember the present day location of it and the very important significance like one or two points that alone you try to remember and then we are moving on to Lothal in Gujarat this is said to be one of the important trading stations it has the dockyard my dear friends it has the dockyard so they use the tidal system to take advantage to move from the rivers towards the sea and it is called as the Manchester of Indus Valley Civilization and when you talk about Dolavira, you have to talk about the unique water harnessing system because there you have some dams, some embankments, uh, irrigation has been possible for agriculture with the help of these water harnessing systems. And there was also this inscription that containing 10 large sized symbols, which like an advertising board that was also deciphered from Dolavira. And there was a discovery of large water reservoirs. So when you try to remember Dolavira, try to remember water harnessing system. But do not confuse the points between Dolavira and Lothal. What is present in Lothal is a dockyard. What is present in Dolavira is a water harnessing system. Even now, when you are trying to write an essay about water harnessing system, if you observe the Hindu paper, you will still see that there is a mention of Dolavira in one point or the other. Just like how they mentioned the traditional uh, water harnessing systems of Nalas and so on. They try to put an example of uh, Dola Vira also in many of the contemporary news articles. And Raki Garhi, yes, that is the largest site of IVC. And uh, when you talk about Kali Bangan, you, Kali Bangan literally means black bangles owing to the discovery of a number of terracotta black bangles at the site. And you also have toy cards, bones of camels and fortified settlements and so on. But another important thing with Kalibangan is there is an evidence of earliest evidence of plowed field has been found from Kalibangan. So that is important. And Kodichi. Now you have a discovery of defensive wall. That is the crucial point with uh, Kodichi. And Ropa, a dog is buried with human Oval pit burials has been found there. Banawali in Haryana. This is the only city with radial street. And not just that, the oval shaped settlement and the radial street. These two are very important when you try to remember Banawali and Surkotara. Yes, of course, the only small evidence of horse bone was found here. And Chanhudara was famous for the bead making factory and the only city without a citadel. And then, yes, Balakot in Pakistan, it is a coastal site, Daimabad in Maharashtra, and Amri in Pakistan, yes, that's crucial, actual remains of a rhinoceros. So these are some of the important sites. And finally, try to remember these two sites, that is Daimabad in Maharashtra and Alamgirpur in Uttar Pradesh, because these states where it is actually present can be asked in your SSC papers or in your UPSC papers. Now, why did I mention so much, so much about the sites is because of this particular question. It was asked in the year of 2019, which one of the following is not a Harappan site? So you need to remember most of the Harappan sites. But even then, this question is considered to be difficult, actually, because Chanhudaro and Kodichi, people can actually, people who have read a lot would actually know that this is a very easy thing. You can eliminate them directly because everybody knows that those are 
the Harappan sites. No doubt about it. But when you talk about Sohagura and Desalpur, people got confused whether it is C or is it D. So that is why we have mentioned so much about the important sites and their locations. So here the answer is Sohagura. It is actually one of the Mauryan site. It, is, uh, it got, gets its importance during the Mauryan period of time. The earliest known copper plate, which is known as the Sohagura copper plate, is actually a Mauryan record. It is a Mauryan record which mentioned about famine relief effort. A very feeble line has been given in one of the textbook. It's hard to remember. And the same goes with the case of Desalpur also. It's one, uh, when I searched about it, uh, when the paper got released, when we searched about it, it was, uh, it was again having a very minor reference in one of the Times of India paper. So that is how UPSC twists and goes deeper into many of the subjects. Desalpur is actually a small settlement in Kutch. Remember, it is a small settlement in Kutch. And the most important point with regard to Desalpur is that there is a stone and rubble wall fortification. And probably there, there was a notion that it may have been used as a port in the Indus Valley civilization. And this question, what is the difference between your Harappan and Mesopotamian civilization? Take a look at the first statement. IBC being a matriarchal society, whereas Mesopotamian being a patriarchal society. So this is perfectly correct. And it, look at the word. The word says it seems to be. So if they are not very sure of it. The word says they seem to be. So that is why we can definitely say that it is a correct statement. And both civilizations had a special place for worship. But rituals were more prominent in Mesopotamian civilization. Now, did both the civilization have a special place for worship? That's not correct. Because we, in Indus Valley civilization, there was not much of an importance given for temple construction. So here, the first statement 